Hi guys, today I'm super excited because I have my collection of holiday slash Christmas themed Funko Pops and the five that are out of the box were in my display case which is why I don't have the box outside right now, I have it in storage and then the other three are ones that I got recently At five below I was actually able to find a special edition Santa Jack Skellington which is a DIY pop so you could paint it yourself and then I have the special edition Eeyore and then on the right I just ordered this on Amazon I think this came out last year, this is the Flock version of Tigger, which is an Amazon exclusive. And I know on the bottom we have Captain America Snowman and then Rocket Raccoon on a sled or on whatever that is called. And I know those are technically not Disney, but since Marvel is owned by Disney now, I guess I could include them in this video. And then on the top, of course, on the left, we've got Mickey Mouse in a Santa Claus outfit and then Minnie reading or singing a carol on the right side. And then in the middle, we've got Piglet with a gift. I think there is also a Pooh Winter Edition Funko Pop. First up, we have Rocket Raccoon, I think on a snowmobile. I definitely love all the details on this figure. And I especially love how the scarf looks like it's kind of flying and how the Funko Pop looks like it's in motion. And of course, Marvel Funko Pops are bobbleheads. Next up, we've got a snowman dressed as Captain America. Here is Piglet holding a little gift, and this is one of my smallest Funko Pops, I think. And I'm looking around my Funko wall, and I do think this is the smallest. Let me know in the comments down below if you know if I have a smaller Funko Pop or not. Next up, we have Mickey Mouse. Next up is Minnie Mouse, and Sally, she's kind of leaning forward on her stand, and I can't get her to stand straight up. There we go. So here is a better look at Minnie Mouse now. Maybe this will make a nice thumbnail picture, but now I'll show the pops in the back. First up, we have a DIY pop, which is Santa Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas, and I'm not going to open this yet just because it's just plain white. So the cool thing about DIY Pops is that you can paint them however you like. And surprisingly, I have never made a DIY Pop on my channel with these like DIY Pops, but I have painted Pops in the past. For example, earlier this year, I painted Isabella from Encanto, and that video went viral and is my highest viewed video at I think 13 or 14 million views right now. So please let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to paint this, and I will. And it, I could paint it normal, like a red hat and just... The average colors or I can make it something unique and maybe do an acrylic pour on it like I did on Gumby which you can see all the way up there on the top of my Funko wall or maybe I could do a challenge where I make an Instagram poll or something like that and then you guys could comment colors and I randomly select some colors kind of like a two marker challenge but with paint next up we've got Eeyore love this holiday background and then over here we could also see Daisy Duck, Donald Duck, Eeyore and then Tigger and before I open this up, I actually got some Funko Pop protectors that I wanted to try out. So a company called Evo Retro actually sent these to me. There are these 10 clear ones that are also glow in the dark. And then there are these 20 clear plastic box protectors for a average size Funko Pop. So let me try it out. I currently don't have any Funko Pop protectors except for the Art Series Funko Pops that I got. And I did want to get some protectors for a few of my pops, especially the more rare ones. So I'm excited to try these out because these were relatively cheap. So here is the layout of the protector. And it also comes with this protective film, which you could either choose to leave on to keep it more protected or you could peel it off. So you put the protector in like, you put the fungal pop in the protector like this and you could close the box. And I think it's definitely better to have some sort of protector on your Funko Pops instead of leaving them naked like I have in my Funko wall. And this is good for your average Funko Pop, but for like a more valuable Funko Pop, I would probably go with a sturdier protector. The glow in the dark version feels a little bit nicer and I'm excited to try this out at night to see if it glows in the dark. My camera usually can pick up if objects glow in the dark well or not. So that's why I'm not going to show it on camera. But if you're interested, leave a comment down below and then I'll let you know if it glows in the dark well or not. And I'll link these down below as well if you would like to check them out. So here is Eeyore and I really like this pop. There's some string lights around him. And I'm honestly tempted to clean out my display case and put all holiday pops in it for this month. Maybe I'll do that. And next up, let's get Tigger. And I wanted this pop last year but I was out of money and this year it was on sale so I was like, why not? 
And by the way, I'll probably be making Black Friday Funko sale videos later this month once we have some good Black Friday sales. So that way you'll know how to get Funko Pops for cheap. And my entire Funko wall in the back is almost all Funko Pops that I got for $3 from GameStop Black Friday in 2020. So that's how I was able to grow my collection so much. And almost all the pops I buy are on deals. Only recently I've been getting some for full price, such as like the convention ones and some new characters just so I can make videos. But I mostly buy Funko Pops on sale and that's how I've been able to grow my collection. So I'll share my tips with you guys, of course. Tigger also comes with a stand. Another really cool Funko Pop. I kind of wish his eyes were open. That would be the only downside, but overall I love the texture and how it's flocked and all the details, of course. I feel like I say I love the details in every video. And comment down below, do you like it when I make Funko unboxing videos like this where it's a full video or do you like how I make YouTube shorts of opening Funko Pops with music? And anyways, again, leave a comment down below to let me know if I should open the Jack Skellington DIY Funko Pop and paint it or something. And let me know which videos you would like to see next. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and be sure to have an amazing day.